our scoop. We don't sell them. We just make them. But look, you guys, tonight's word is going to be about letting go and letting God. And I don't know who's going to need to hear this message, but I'm trusting in the Lord to allow anyone who needs to hear this message to stumble upon this live. We're letting the Lord take over his presence, his peace that surpasses all human understanding. And I just know that this is something that I'm relating to in this season right now. So I know a lot of people are going to feel this message in the way that God has been speaking it to me. But all I've been hearing, all I've been going through in this season and, and, and the past seasons are letting go. If you are stuck in a place where you feel stagnant, you feel like you haven't been moving, the Lord is the Lord is getting ready to bring your biggest blessing, right? But you have to let go of those things that are no longer serving you. God can't move on that promise until you do what it is that God has called you to do. Remove yourself. This doesn't even have to just apply to relationships. This can apply to a job. This can apply to addiction, something that you are still doing that the Lord has told you to stop. This could be smoking weed, drinking. This could be just a place that he's telling you to move out of. And that could be physically or spiritually but there's people that are staying in things that are no longer serving them and God is saying I need you to move so that I can bring that promise that I've been telling you that promise that I placed inside your spirit it was not just that's not just your that's not just your your flesh that is God putting that 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 dream inside of you okay and God is giving you the faith to and the supernatural strength to remove yourself from those situations that are not serving your season no more some people are only meant to serve a season in your life okay some people are only meant to serve a season in your life and once that season is up and you're you're basically overdoing it right you're trying to save these people you're trying to bring these people with you to the top but god is saying where i'm taking you you can't these people cannot come so you have to let these people go in this season all right let's get into it because i already feel the holy spirit y'all oh my lord thank you jesus okay um first of all i hope you guys are having a great night let's pray and like just get right into it um before i pray i need to get my mouth like hydrated so god bless you god bless you guys okay let's pray um i really feel like god is speaking to me a lot about freedom um, like through Jesus, we have freedom, right? We're, we're free through the salvation and the sacrifice that Jesus, you know, did for us. But, um, we are, we're choosing to stay in situations or in places that, that is not, that's delaying you and hindering you from where God wants you, right? Let's pray. That is the ice maker. I love it from Amazon. Okay. Bow your heads and close your eyes, y'all. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would overwhelm us with your presence, your peace that surpasses all human understanding, Lord God. We pray that you would soften the hearts of the unbelievers, soften the hearts of those people that are in desperate need of you, Lord. You know what it is that they are going through, Lord. Intervene in that situation, in that in that anxiety, in that depression, in that fear, Lord, in that worry, in that confusion, Lord. I pray that you would intervene, Lord God, and heal their hearts, Lord God, from that pain, from that trauma, Lord. Set them free from the strongholds that the devil has placed over them. We bind and rebuke every single unclean spirit that is trying to plan an attack against them, Lord God. Every sickness, Lord God, no weapon formed against us will prosper because it says in your word, Lord God, and we trust in you and we have faith in you. We don't deserve you, Lord God, but you always over, you always over overdo everything that we've ever asked for you do more than we ask for or imagine lord god we pray that you would heal our minds heal our bodies heal our soul lord god and bring breakthrough in the name of jesus reveal yourself to these people lord god show them who you are show up in their lives lord god some of these people have been crying out to you and haven't heard an answer from you yet lord god but i pray that you would open their ears to hear you open their eyes to see you lord god and open their understanding their wisdom their knowledge lord god fill them with the favor that you've given esther lord fill them with the wisdom that you gave Solomon, Lord God. And I pray that you give them the strength that you gave David in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Have your way tonight. Decrease my flesh in every way and increase your Holy Spirit in every way, Lord God. I pray that you would pour into me so that I may pour into others. Use me as the vessel. I am just the vessel, Lord. All glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am so ready. Like, I am so ready. I've never been more ready for a word because I am truly going through this right now. Please, Holy Spirit, have your way in the name of Jesus. Okay. 
but this message like i said is about letting go and letting god sometimes you know god is god has us in a place or in a season where he's been trying to get you out of that season he's been trying to move you past that level but you're staying in a place where you're comfortable and it's not where you're comfortable that god can really work in your life because you're you're basically saying that god i don't trust you i need to stay where i'm at because this is where i'm comfortable but it's in the uncomfortable where you can truly walk into the anointing into the, the breakthrough and the promise that god has for you okay so you have to get out in that unknown you have to get out and face your fears that fear of being uncomfortable that fear of oh but i've been with this person for five years like i that's all i've ever known i've gotten so comfortable with them and and, and god has so much better for you and some of you guys are staying in a place where god has god has already told you you're not you're better than that you i'm not saying that you're you know you're better than anybody but you're better than that situation that you're putting yourself in i think that some of you guys don't see the value that god sees in you god sees so much value in you and if only you could see how god sees if only you can see you how God sees you because God sees you as a ruby. God sees you as a diamond. Why is my music throwing me off? Hold on. Um, I have my favorite song, Nothing Else, in the background. So, yeah. Yeah. But if only you guys can see yourself the way that God sees you. We were all created in God's image, which means we were all created um, with, with the perfect identity. But because the world has... Com conditioned us and patterned us and we've picked up traits of the world you're obviously like you've forgotten who you truly are but god sees who you are god put that put that heart inside of you god placed before he knew you he formed you in his mother's womb and jeremiah it says that so lord we know that we we have to trust in god's plans for us right because romans 8 28 says all things work together for good for those who love the lord right so we have to trust in god's plans and even if you're scared even if you're like but i don't know what's going to happen if i move here like how am i going to provide god will make a way where there is no way once you trust in the lord 100 percent, and you put your full faith in god god will make a way where there is no no way okay when god is trying to get you to close a door it's because he has doors opening for you okay when god closes a door no man will be able to open it and when god opens a door no 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 yeah no man will be able to close it okay god is getting ready to open these doors but he needs you to put in the work faith without works is dead you can believe that god is that god is going to save you but you have to put in the work to show him like look i'm living my life for you you have to put in the works okay so letting go is something that hurts a lot of us because we've gotten comfortable but look some seasons you have you've got to let them go okay like i was watching literally the movie frozen and god was speaking to me all through that movie like let it go okay i've been telling you to let it go all right um philippians 4 verse 6 says do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition present your request to god and the peace of god which surpasses all human understanding will will guard your hearts and your minds in jesus christ okay philippians 4 verse 6 do not be anxious about anything stop being worried stop being fearful stop being scared about what's going to happen when you walk out into the unknown just trust in god and know that he has your back like he's not going to let you fail he's not going to let you not prosper when you're believing and putting your full faith in god you have to put your full faith in god and trust in him god knows us better than we know ourselves god has created us right so you have to literally walk into that fear and it's not until you walk outside of your fears that's where your biggest blessing is right on the other side of fear but a lot of you guys like to stay in the comfort zone because this is where you're safe but i I just need you to take that leap of faith and trust in God and watch. I want you to just watch and you will have a testimony that 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 people won't even believe. They're not even going to believe it because they're going to be like, how did you go from this place to this place in a matter of four months? My God does the impossible. I don't know what God you serve, but I serve the God who does the impossible. OK, letting go. It sucks. I know it hurts. It, it especially when we're talking about like a place that you 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 you've created a a love especially when you have genuine love for someone or something right um but that season is over okay we have to walk into our new season because that's where our blessings are okay um and yeah 
this could be a relationship this could be control you some some of us don't want to let go of full control and give it to god some of us don't trust god in surrendering everything that we have you have to surrender it all to god and let the lord take that pain let the lord take that addiction let the lord heal you from those 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 strongholds that you have created or tied yourself to the devil does not want to see you walk out into your true identity the identity that jesus that that god has created for us to be right you have to let go of that anger that that unforgiveness towards people that bitterness that um just the past some of you guys are stuck in the past you're you're, you're steady in the past you're steady like but you know this i did this in the past and i sinned and i did this and i'm not good enough i'm too broken for god but god you god literally he ate with sinners. jesus ate with the sinners he didn't eat with the saints because he was here to save the sinners he's not here for the perfect righteous people who think they're righteous but everybody you're deceiving yourself if you're if you say you don't have any sin right but god is telling you to get rid of the past let go of that past let him heal you repent of those things and move forward because the past is in the past it's time to be in your present and trust in your future that god has for you because the lord knows the plans he has for you okay he knows the plans he has for you those people that are that you've been with for years that are only toxic and hindering your purpose your god-given purpose whatever god has called you to do and you're putting it on hold because of a distraction let go of these distractions let go of those friends that don't that don't better you they don't put you in a better place mentally they're not helping you grow with the lord so they're only helping you distance yourself and cause your, your you to fall in sin let those friends go let that relationship go i know it hurts i know it's not easy to let go of things and and and, and feel like you you have to start all over but you've got to take that leap of faith you've got to trust in god okay these people like these people are only meant for a season of your life in hebrews 12 verse 1 paul tells us to throw everything throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that easily entangles us right because these things are only slowing you down you probably could have been at your promised land already just like the israelites when they were traveling around through the um through the wilderness for 40 years um they could have been at the promised land way before that but the fact that they were they were going in circles they were literally going in circles because they weren't willing to to put away the idols put away those things that weren't serving them that there were that were pagan they were they were false gods they weren't ready to let go of all of those things right so until you get ready to sacrifice those things to the lord and say look god you can have it all you can have my life you can have full control you can take the relationship you can take you can take my money you can take it all strip me of everything lord god wash me clean of everything and allow me to walk fully towards your love jesus lord it wasn't until i fully gave up full control of my life everybody has their own will and what they want their life to look like oh i want i want a big house i want this exact guy i need him to look like this he has to be six foot five he has to be an athlete he has to know how to do this he has to learn how to cook but that is your will for your life that's what you think you want but god knows who we are on, on the inside god knows what we need not what our flesh wants because what your flesh wants is contradictory contradictory to what the spirit inside of you wants okay so the flesh wants everything that's contradicting to the word of god right the flesh wants to eat fast food every day but the spirit the living our temple needs things that are going to actually help us fuel us with energy and help us stay healthy in the long run right but our flesh doesn't want that your flesh wants to sleep with the guy even though you're not married but your spirit knows that you need to wait for marriage right your flesh wants to smoke weed and party with your friends because you don't want to look like a loser and you don't want to look like oh i'm 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 a loner and i don't go out and i'm i'm boring but your spirit wants to get closer to god your spirit wants to get to know the lord and savior the one who created you because that's where the truth peace is you think that that fills you up you think that clubbing lifestyle that worldly partying lifestyle you think that that's your happiness right you ever see how people be posting videos of them drinking and turning up and they they like they put like you know living my best life or whatever when in reality you're only living a life that leaves you empty you know at the end of the day when you come home after being drunk blacked out drunk taking shots at the bar going hanging around with guys creating soul ties with people that you're not even in wedlock with going home at the end of the night and getting in your bed and realizing like this this is this is not even fun like i feel disgusting i am throwing up i feel gross my like you literally end up throwing up after drinking 
what what is fun about killing your body what is fun about altering your mind and altering your spirit and lowering your energy and your vibration what is fun about separating yourself from the 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 true holy spirit because the holy spirit can dwell in something that's unpure and that is immoral the drunkenness is a sin drinking if you have self-control and you're able to have one drink i'm not coming for y'all but drunkenness is a sin and you have to let these things go you cannot live in in in, a, in, a, in, in the world and try to follow god you can't do both I'm sorry to tell you guys, I'm trying to be in a loving, compassionate way, but you can't live in the world and try to follow God. That's a lukewarm, and a lukewarm will not make it to the kingdom of heaven. You cannot serve two masters, okay? You have to choose whether you're in the, you can't be one foot in the door and one foot out. You have to make that choice to follow God and really live your life for him faith without works is dead okay so i need you guys to just get to that point where you are you are you are ready to release these things you surrender it up to god because by your own strength we will fail by your own strength you can't quit that that addiction by your own strength you won't be able to leave that relationship but when you open up the door and say god i need you god i surrender this relationship to you god have your way in my life let your will be done and not my own because what i want is not what i need what i need is what you have for me you know the plans that you've had that you've created me with a specific plan in mind we all have a mission and a purpose here on earth even if you don't know what your identity is or you don't know what your purpose is yet you know god is going to reveal that to you once you open that door for him let him take Full control okay do not be anxious do not be scared I know it, it feels like your flesh gets uncomfortable because you're walking into a place where you're gonna have to put your full faith in God but I want you to just try him try him just just open that door for God to, to, to work in your life. Just surrender it to him. Just cry out to the Lord humble yourselves do not remain ignorant do not remain ignorant do not oh do just just open your heart up for one second and just ask God to reveal himself in your life. But do it humbly because the, the our God only re reveals himself to those who are humble. He checks our heart posture. What is your heart posture like? You need to open your, you need to open yourself up to, no, sorry. You need to humble yourself before the Lord, okay? Humble yourself, humble yourself. Our wisdom and knowledge and our understanding is nothing, okay? Our wisdom if we're walking by our own understanding, you will lead to destruction. But when you walk by the understanding and the power of the word of God, when you walk by the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of God, it surpasses everything that we've ever been taught in this world. Because this world is ran by the devil, right? But anyway, submit. It's time to submit. James 4, 7 says to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. When you start walking towards God, not only does the devil start to bring opposition, he starts to he starts to attack you more than you've ever been attacked. The devil don't attack people that are living in sin. Why? Because he has them wrapped around his finger. He's going to attack you because he sees that you're a threat to him. When you start coming to God and you start to and you start to walk into your true identity and who God has created you to do, create this so he's gonna try to bring you to continue to drink drink your life away and waste your time time is so precious okay you need to be you need to have when you get to the gates of heaven god's gonna ask you you wasted your life you killed your body you drank you smoked you did all these drugs what did you do with your time do you want him to say do you want him to to turn you away and say like depart from me for i did not know you or do you want him to say well done good and faithful servant okay y'all i know this is the holy spirit right now so i'm, I'm right, right let me know if i should restart the live because if it ends up guys